1979, the members of our first honoree, the 1979 football team, I can tell you they were larger than life. And that wasn't just because of my diminutive stature at the time. Reading their names in the newspaper, watching the highlights on the newscast, and then walking the halls of our alma mater with the likes of Don Beyond, Don Dawes, Don McConnell. That was, that was special times. Those were special times. Led by their Hall of Fame coach, the late Nick Tito, the 1979 team compiled four shutouts and outscored opponents by an average count of 17 to 6. The maroon and white down Fairport and their own Hall of Fame coach, Don Santini, by two touchdowns. They handed Rush Henry Avisbury and their Hall of Fame coach, the late Werner Freeman, a 13-point loss. They defeated Section 6 powerhouse Canisius. They brought up to a 17-point win over that school on Clinton. McQuaid! And then they knocked off Eastridge and their own Hall of Fame coach, Jack Christensen, to claim the program's first sectional title. In doing so, that little Irish team put into place the foundation for what is now known as the top high school football program in the entire New York State. And above all that, and this is on a personal note, they have the best baritone in the history of Aquinas, Tyrone Southern. <laughs> Something the award tonight, coming up here with me tonight, Mr. Pete Noro and the rest of the 1979 football team.
because we are AQ. As a team, we had some good athletes, some great athletes, and one superstar. One of our great athletes, Bob McGee, is sadly no longer with us. Bobby, we know you're in heaven right now with a front row seat. We miss you, brother. Thanks for all you did. As I mentioned, we were lucky to have a superstar on the team. Running back Don Vienna. Donnie was a phenomenal athlete that never came off the field. He and Dominic DeLucia were a powerful backfield. Donnie was recruited heavily and played D1 at the University of Arizona. Donnie was inducted into the Aquinas Hall of Fame in 2011, and unfortunately couldn't make it that evening. But he is with us tonight, so let's give him a big round of applause. of our team that I believe needs to be acknowledged, which makes our story pretty special. There's an old saying that it's not the size of the dog in the fight that matters, but rather the size of the fight in the dog. The fact is, we had a number of undersized players that were starters on this championship team. Now, believe it or not, I was a starting guard as a junior. Look at me. <laughs> I was 5'8 then. 5'7 now, and I'm trending to 5'6. <laughs> I don't scare anyone. Uh -huh. Probably all thought I was the water boy. And you think that's crazy? I tower over the other starting guard who is standing in front here, Pete Tobiola. <laughs> hey, Richard, you're standing, right? <laughs> Poor Donnie. I think it was bigger than all, but one of our offensive linemen. Well, we clearly had a bunch of guys on this team who see something much bigger in the mirror than does the rest of the world. While we are special, we are not unique because we are a few. The 1979 championship game was a hard-fought battle with Easter. That year they had an incredible passing game, and our plan was to keep the ball and control the clock. That day we gained over 300 yards on the ground and played really tough on defense. We won the game 15-14, holding them to their lowest point total all year in front of 10,000 fans at Hollywood Stadium. The headline in the DNC the next day summed it up. Aquinas was simply awesome. While we are not special, we are unique. Because we are! We are! We are! We are! We are! I love it. Thank you very much.